Hello everybody, welcome to Guidance Education channel. We will see the topic that is discussed in this video. We are continuing class 11 physics thermodynamics. The topic is Carnot engine part 2. Derivation of expression for work done in Carnot cycle. This is a very important topic. So watch the video completely without skipping. And if you think the video is useful, do like the video, share the video with your friends who may also be benefited. And leave your feedbacks as comments in the comment box below. If you are watching without subscribing my channel, do subscribe it now and press the bell button and all button so that you get intimated as soon as new videos are posted. Thank you very much. Come, let us see the topic. In this video, we will derive an expression for work done during Carnot cycle. I have provided here the PV diagram for Carnot cycle for reference. We have already seen that the cycle consists of four steps. Step 1 to 2 isothermal expansion, 2 to 3 adiabatic expansion, 3 to 4 isothermal compression and 4 to 1 adiabatic compression. During each step or process, a certain amount of work is done. We have to find the work done for the whole cycle. So, the total work done is determined by finding the sum of the work done for all these four processes. We have already derived the equation for calculating work done in isothermal and adiabatic process. We will just recall those formulae. Work done for isothermal process is NRT natural log V final by V initial and work adiabatic is equal to NR by 1 minus gamma into T2 minus T1. So let us consider the work done for each step. Work done from 1 to 2 that is isothermal expansion. We have to use this formula. NR T is T1 natural log. Final volume is V2 and initial volume is V1. So V2 divided by V1. Work done 2 to 3. It is adiabatic expansion. So the expression, we have to use this expression. NR divided by 1 minus gamma into T2 minus T1. I have already posted a video on derivation of work done for isothermal and adiabatic processes. If you have not watched that video, click the I button in order to watch that. For these two steps, it is expansion work. So work is positive. Next is work done from 3 to 4 that is this process that is adiabatic compression. For compression work it is negative. So negative NR what is the initial temperature? The initial temperature is T2. So T2 natural log initial volume is V3 final volume is V4. So we get V4 by V3. Work done from 4 to 1. The process is adiabatic compression equal to negative NR by 1 minus gamma into T2 minus T1. Total work done is equal to work done 1 to 2 plus work done 2 to 3 plus negative work done 3 to 4 plus negative work done 4 to 1. For work done 2 to 3 and work done 4 to 1. The quantities are the same but one is positive and the other is negative. So they get cancelled. Work done 1 to 2 and work done 3 to 4 only remains. One is positive and the other is negative but the quantities are different. So work done 1 to 2 minus work done 3 to 4 is the total work done. Substituting work total is equal to NR T1 natural log V2 by V1 minus NR T2 natural log V4 by V3. We will add up one more point here. During the first step that is work done from 1 to 2. The quantity of heat absorbed is equal to Q1. So work done for isothermal process here is equal to Q1. And for work done from 3 to 4. That is isothermal compression work. That is this portion of the graph. Quantity of heat exchanged is equal to 
Q2, we will need this when we discuss efficiency. So, total work done can be calculated by this formula and it is equal to Q1 minus Q2. The difference in the work done for these two processes is the total work done. So, if you are asked to derive an expression for work done in Carnot cycle, you have to draw this diagram and then write all this. We will discuss efficiency of Carnot engine in the next video. Otherwise, this video will be very, very long because after discussing or deriving the expression for efficiency, we have also to explain why Carnot engine is only hypothetical and not real. Hope this video was of great use to you. If you think it was useful, do like the video, share the video with your friends who may also be benefited. And if you have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe it now and also press the bell button and all button for notification of more videos like this. Thank you very much. We will meet in the next video. Till then, bye. Take care.